What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast here on that, on YouTube. Catch a horror film, horror DVD. That I want to get the Blu-ray now because I just found out there's a really good Blu-ray. And this is the second, third time I've owned this on DVD. I clean up. Venom. This is not the Marvel superhero, supervillain movie. This is not the Killer Snake movie. Well, it's not that Killer Snake movie. This is probably not any of the Venoms you're thinking of when you hear Venom. Because this is one of those forgotten horrors of the early 2000s that I hear nobody talk about. And I went and did a little research and did some, you know, some fact digging and got some more information. Thank you to uh, Goat from uh, the Movie Grave Girl Podcast. Go check them out. They, about every two weeks, they dig up a different movie. Exert out of the movie graveyard and talk about it, do a commentary. They did like No Man's Land, the Charlie Sheen Porsche stealing movie. Uh, I know what their what their Halloween episode's gonna be, it's gonna be really good. Of course it's being filmed around Halloween. Alright, Venom. Voodoo movie. Only names you really got in is Bijou Phillips and Method Man. And what it is this old voodoo lady got a curse in the box of snakes, bridge goes off car, they pull it up, snake bites like tow truck man, he becomes a killer voodoo monster thing, chases tunes. It's a voodoo slasher set in, like, the backwoods of South Louisiana, like, Homa, Morgan City, uh, Chalmette, Marrero, oh, oh, what other place? West Bank, West Wego, and just, yeah, oh, God, South Louisiana. And then what happened with this film was, was it was supposed to come out, if I'm remembering right, like, right around time, and then Katrina hit. So like, oh, we're not releasing a film set in that area, you know. So they kind of sat on it. It got a very truncated theatrical release. If it got much at all, but hit home video, and then like came out, and it was you know there was like it was on the Echo Bridge Multiplex, which where I first saw it. And it's like, oh, cool, you know. Well, I guess the dimension Miramax films. Like, okay, it's kind of newer film. I'll check it out. And I watched. That's how I first saw it. Had multi pack on. And what it was is back in the day, I I kept a stack of those multi packs. Uh, I had my computer set up at the desk and to the table to my left I had like a little small probably 20 inch old picture tube TV. So I kept like my Nintendo hooked up to it on all the plays after games. And I had a DVD player hooked up to it. I had a satellite hooked up to it. DVD recorder actually. Satellite hooked up to it. And I put on like these multi-pack movies because I'm on the computer. It was rare out in Echo Bridge multi-packs, Mill Creek multi-packs, all the other companies that you know. Unless it was like something for full, you know, something I knew of in advance. That the film would catch my attention enough, I'd watch the whole thing, just frock whatever I'm doing, push there and watch the film, turn my chair and watch it. Venom was one of those. They caught my attention. So I'm like, ooh, I want to stand, stand on release because this is one of those like, okay, very multi packs. There's like four or five movies on the disc that's compressed. It don't look its best. I went and watched it on Burger TV and it looked like shit. So I looked for years and years. Found out there's an Echo Bridge release, can't find it, it's out of print. They've lost the dimension lines. Found out there's an Alliance release, which is Canadian, but can't find it. It's out of print and going for more than I want to pay. I don't want to pay more than about five bucks for this movie. I like it a lot, but I don't want to pay more than five bucks. I'm cheap because I paid like eight bucks for that pack of ten movies. Well, a couple months back, I'm in my local Walmart, passed by our cheap five dollar DVD and Blu-ray bins right up by the Rachel and sells cigarettes, which is one of the few they keep open that you can pay cash. Our Walmart's weird now, like they want card for everything. Like they keep the self checkouts constantly open, their card only. I'm like motherfucker, I'm paying in cash. Especially if you're buying a movie like this, it's all ready to go up there and scan. You got to wait for somebody to waddle their way over and check your ID and all that shit. Well, I see this in the bed. I'm over for five bucks, and I didn't even look who put it out. It's Paramount. Just found out in Goat's one. It's funny, but there is like a Blu-ray of this that has all kinds of extras. This does not at all. There's like no extras that I remember at all on this thing. It's you know bare bones, but it looks good, and it's just one of those little forgotten horror films that. I think a retitling would help it. Yeah, I don't know. Because Venom, I mean, it works because the snakes and the pipe and the voodoo thing. And we'll see what the back says. Look at that big Miramax thing. And like, this girl's familiar, but I don't actually know her name. And this girl's familiar, but Bijou Phillips, uh, that's a uh, little sister Mackenzie Phillips, if I remember right. You know, known for all kinds of shit. I know her for horror films like Wizard of War, shit like that, Bully, shit like that. Method Man, Wu Tang Clan, piles of movies. He's a cop in this, which he's not bad. He plays a decent cop. Usually Phillips plays a slut. Yeah, she's pretty good at that role. Spine ching, tingling, bone chilling thriller, says Wireless Magazine. Venom is a fright filled voodoo thriller set deep in the eerie swamps of southern Louisiana. Agnes Buckner, murder by numbers, 
Jonathan Jackson, Nashville, and Megan Good think like a man or a group of teenagers trying to uncover the truth behind a friend's mysterious but they find out it's an evil horse more deadly than anyone could imagine when they meet Mr. Jangles, a man man's 13 unlucky souls killed by voodoo priests who now spends his time hunting for revenge. Now the ones running for their lives in a thrilling edge of your seat, voodoo romp in the swamp. Los Angeles Times. Rated R. And go with something that's like shot in super 35 millimeters, so like the Blu ray reveals a little more information at the top and the bottom than any other release. I've never seen that. So what I ended up doing before I found this, I'll throw this in there real quick. Before I found this, I was looking around on Voodoo or Amazon Prime. I don't remember which, but I got both accounts linked up. I'm like, I want to see Venom. I ain't seen Venom in forever. I can't find my DVD. It looks like ass anyway. I said, you know, how much is it to rent? You know, probably cheap. And it was like $2.99 to rent or 4 bucks to buy. I'll pay the 4 bucks. <laughs> and I've watched it two or three times since then. It's just a great little movie that nobody talks about. And like right now, as of October 2022, you go dig in the Walmart cheap final bins and there's piles of copies of this. And it's one of those, I think, you know, in 10, 15, people will actually kind of pick up on the, hey, there's this great little movie nobody ever talked about. You know, from... 15, 17 years ago now, it's almost 20 years old, and you know, I hear there's no good horror from hell. I've been here, there's been no good horror since like 89. Like, nah, there's plenty of 90s, plenty of 2000s. I don't know about 2010s, I don't know. I haven't dug deep enough, I'm sure there is. But I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.